So, today you're a craftsman in the 18th century. You work in a factory and you make pins. Yeah, only pins. But you make the whole thing. You make the 18 steps that it takes to create one pin. That includes straightening the metal, polishing one end, preparing the other end, attaching the head, everything. You can make about 20 pins per day. Your manager, smart dude, realizes that you are 18 people working in the factory. So one day he decides that instead of each one of you doing pins all day long, each one of you is gonna make one of the 18 steps of the pin. With this, we have created 15 times more pins than what we used to make individually. What have we lost on the way? The value. This is Corporate Cat. My name is Borja Marin. We begin. So today I want to dig a little bit deeper into the concept of value. This is one of the corners of my engagement triangle. If you haven't seen the video, I will leave it somewhere here. What I mean when I say value is the inner value that the work has, like how the, we perceive that our work is important for us or it's adding something to our lives or the lives of the people around and how this is very important. This is very important because if the only value that you see is the economical, your engagement, your motivation, it's dropping. And obviously, if you're a manager and your team is not seeing whatever they're doing as something valuable somehow, you will encounter a number of problems like high risk of attrition because in the moment that somebody will put like literally 5% more, why not? There is nothing else in this job for me. Sloppiness, because if you don't care about your job, the only thing that you care is to uh, check in, check out, get out as soon as possible. There is no, no, no pride in this. How all of this relates to the story I told you in the, in the beginning of the video. It's a lot easier to feel proud of making one whole pin than to be just the guy that attach the head to the uh, rest of the pin. The one important note about value is that you as a manager, you cannot force the perception of value in your team because it needs to come from each one of your uh, team members. And obviously not everybody is gonna see that. It doesn't matter the effort that you do, but still your job is to first create an environment that fosters and promotes these value ideals and I will let you know how and overall don't be an obstacle for people to feel that they're doing something important. I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that you can work on to foster this idea of value. The first of all it's the external rewards. This is important because it's like the aside the economical reward is the recognition and how the people will be perceived within the company. So it adds a value per se, it's at the value of the being uh, recognized, which is very important. How can you do that? Plenty of ways from economical bonuses to recognition in meetings to uh, certificates, trophies, anything. In that case, there are like two takes here. First, remember one thing, the scars a recognition is, the more valuable it is. So if you recognize everybody, the price doesn't really have, uh, doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't have any value. But if you narrow down the recognition that you're making throughout the quarter or the year, these recognitions, they have a lot of value because there will be a very few people that will be recognized so it has to be like very good reason so find your sweet spot on how many people you should recognize and second uh, i always advise to go with something uh tangible like money it's a good option it's a good first option but not all the times you will be able to give like a money reward however create the certificates, make a trophy, something like that. Somebody can put on their desk or hang on the wall in, the, in their house and feel this tangible value. The second part, and for me the most important, is the intrinsic value. How to uh, help your team to see the intrinsic value of the job. So what I mean, like, so how to help your team to perceive that their job is impactful, meaningful, 
good somehow. It is good to be working here because of X, Y, Z reason. There are four points I want to talk in this section. Basically, it's a variety. It's important. Not in every job you have the chance to uh, change a lot and make it very uh, different. However, you may have different workflows. So I advise you to cross train your team because when you are doing something very repetitive all the time, it's very easy for you to get burnout. So if you have your teams trained in doing different things, you can always rotate them and they will perceive that they are not like robots doing all the time the same thing. They are learning different things that they are useful and they can be put in different places. They can cover different uh, sections. This is very good. The second is challenge. Challenge is important because the job needs to have certain difficulty. If it is too easy, we lose our will to do it. It's not challenging, it's, it's meaning nothing. So it becomes boring and we stop paying attention for that. However, if it's too difficult, it's overwhelming and the burnout is just there hitting you. So as a manager, you need to understand your team, and make sure that you know your team and in which point in the spectrum they feel. If they're, the work that they're doing is too difficult, you need to find a way to help them to make it a little bit easier. If it's too easy, you need to find what can be challenging for this specific individual and throw a little bit extra work to them, but something that it's, you know, that it's good, it's challenging, something that will provide something. To find this sweet spot in, in will, they will find that they have an obstacle that they can overcome. The third thing is creativity. Creativity is something very important to feel that we can create something new. Maybe if you're thinking about like uh, factory work or um, IT job where it's, uh, you know, call center or content review or something like that, it's kind of complicated to be creative. However, if you speak with your team and you create open space in which they can share their ideas, because let's one one thing is it's uh, it's true. It's like they are the front line guys. They are facing the problems day to day, and probably they have a lot of good ideas that you can implement, or at least you can uh, listen and explain them why it's a good idea, why it's a bad idea, and guide them to be more creative because they can give you a lot of good ideas on how to improve the workflow, how to make more money, a lot of things. So. Your job here is to keep communication channel open and foster this culture of speaking up. Never punish nobody for speaking up an idea. And the fourth point is meaning. When we speak about meaning, we always go with the big movie examples like uh, a surgeon, a policeman, a firefighter officer. It's, you know, these people that save lives. However, meaning in the job, it doesn't need to be in such a big scale. You can try to let people understand around you what is the meaning of doing a good job for your team. You have a big team. If somebody is not performing well, probably whatever mistakes they're doing, it will impact their colleagues. So doing a good job, it's meaningful in the matter of like creating a good environment. You are helping your colleagues to achieve better goals as well. Probably if your company works with clients, making uh, a good sale or making clients happy will probably get you more business. If you get more business, you are creating more job positions or even like more management positions. So this is how the work that you're doing is meaningful. You need to speak with them and make their sure that they understand that whatever they're doing, they're not doing it just for the money, but there is an impact in the world, in the team, in the company that it can uh, it means something for many people and it's important this is it for today thank you very much for being with me one more week if you like this content please share it drop a like subscribe to my channel and i will see you the next week with more corporate talk bye